welcome back everyone in this video we are going to talk about the various types of charts already we have discussed this is in continuation with my previous video in that we have discussed about the meaning and the benefits and uses of various types of charts right we have already seen the variable charts the attribute charts their meaning right in variable charts we are going to study the r chart and the x chart which means range from the mean a central line of tendency and again the characteristics which cannot be measured in terms of height weight or quantified data we are going to call it as attribute charts and in this we are going to study p chart and c chart right so uh, what we are going to do in this video is we will be taking a numerical we will be solving a question on numerical data right the calculation of the formulas the plotting of the values as per the charts variable charts and attribute charts we are going to do the same thing right we are going for the r chart and x chart so x chart illustrate the central tendency of sample which means the central line which means the average or the mean value we can see whereas r chart shows the variability of the process variability from the central line which means the range right so a process is said to be in control when both x and r chart will be in control we are going to see in the next slide before generally used simultaneously this is the formula for calculating limits of the x chart and this is the formula for calculating the limits of the r chart to have an example there are two significant figures here one is the ucl that is upper control limit and the second one is your lower control limit what we mean by this is the center line of tendency will be denoted by x double bar that is the cl so we are going to have three lines three levels one is the upper control limit another one is the lower control limit for calculating the values of upper control limit we have the formula x double bar which means x bar already the average of x bar right so it's x double bar plus a2 r bar so r bar we need to calculate x double bar we need to calculate and a2 values of a2 will be taken from the table in case of this r chart the r bar we are going to calculate and d4 and d3 values are we are going to take from the table so this is how the table looks like so factor table for is an r chart this is the number of observation or we can say how many products how many finished goods we are taking into the as a sample so 2 3 4 6 and so on so up to 20 the table is given right so value of a2 directly we are going to put in the formula whenever we are knowing that how many samples we have taken how many products we are going we have taken as a sample sample size right so directly we will be taking that value whatever the size of the sample will be and again for calculating the r chart we will be requiring the values of d3 and d4 so these values are given so directly we are jumping to numerical so that is showing this is one illustration which is given in front of you so there are two tables in one table we are going to calculate the entire uh, numerical portion and in the second table this data is given so as far as data is concerned we are going to take three different products so our sample size is 3 we are going to repeat this process six times so as per as Our formula. We are going to calculate the x double bar. A two is already given in the table, and then r bar. So there are two values. One is x bar. We are going to calculate, and then r we are going to calculate. So calculation of x bar denotes the summation of all the products. Say for example, we are taking the measurable qualities in terms of height or weight. So the first product which is being observed give us the value of seven. It can be seven meter. It can be seven kilogram. It can be seven liter. Any quantified data which can be measured, right? So the values are seven, seven, and eight. Three products are taken under the first uh, time sampling. Seven, seven, and eight. So we are going to get these. The mean will be the x bar will be all three summation of seven plus seven plus eight. Divided by three, the value is 
7.3333. Similarly, for second sampling, for the number second uh, three products which we have taken into observation, it will be 11 plus 8 plus 10. That will be divided by 3. The result will be divided by 3. It will be 9.6667. Right. Similarly, we are going to carry out this process for the rest of the sampling. Sample 1, sample 2, sample 3, sample 4, and sample 5, and sample 6. So we got the values of x bar as 7.3333, So we are not interested in x bar, we are interested in x double bar, which means the average of x bar. So we are getting 6 values here. No. Average of x bar will be calculated by adding all these values 7.33 plus 9.66 plus 9.33 plus 7.33 plus 7 plus 7.66 divided by 6. Why we have why we are going to divide by 6? Because there are total 6 times we have done. So the total sampling we have done is 6 times. So the average of every product will be the x bar but we are interested in calculation of the x double bar so we are going to add up all these values of the x bar and then divided by 6 because total number of items total number of sampling we are we have done is 6 so divided by 6 the result is 8.0556 so this 8.0556 is the value of x double bar okay so one of the item has been ascertained if we see the formula, so we have calculated the x bar. Now, a2 will be taken from the table. Now, we are interested in calculating the r bar. So, how we are going to calculate the r bar? r bar means the range. And range, the formula for calculation of range is the difference between highest and lowest in the entire product. So, the highest in the first sample is 8. The lowest is 7. So the difference between the highest and the lowest is 8 minus 7 is 1. 11 minus 8 is 3. 12 minus 6 is 6. And then so on. So the all 6 values of R is 1, 3, 6, 1, 5, 5. But we are not interested in calculating the R. We are interested in calculating the values of R bar. Therefore, 1 plus 3 plus 6 plus 1 plus 5 plus 5. Divided by 6 will be 3.5. So now we have got the value of x double bar as 8.0556 and r bar that was 3.5. So directly we can put the values in the formula. The formula talks about upper control limit is x double bar plus a2 r bar. So calculating lower control limit this is x double bar minus a2 r bar. Similarly for calculation of r chart. So in this particular block, calculation of R chart will be D4 and R bar. Calculation of LCL, lower control limit will be T3 into R bar. Right. So the value of central line, that is X double bar is 8.0556. We have directly put the values 8.0556. So X double bar we have already calculated. We have ascertained, we have put the values of 8.0556 into the central line. Now we need to add A2 R bar. So in order to find out A2, the value of A2, we are going again, we are going back again to the chart and the chart says we have taken 3 samples in every sample. The number of products we have taken for observation was 3. So in front of 3, the value of A2 is 1.02. So we are going, what we are going to do is, we are going to multiply, we are going to put this value, that will be 8.0556 plus 1.02 into 3.5. So 3.5 when multiplied by A2, that is 1.02, the answer when it will be added to X double bar, 8.0556, it will be giving 11.6361 and then the value will be deducted from 8.0556 it will give 4.475 I am repeating it the value of x double bar is 8.0556 value of a2 is 1.02 value of r bar is 3.5 which we have 
put in this R chart, right? So directly when we put these values into the formula, we will get this value 11.6361 for UCL upper control limit. And when we subtract this value of A2 R bar from X double bar, that is 8.0556, we will get 4.4751. The upper range and the lower range will be exactly the same. The difference between upper control limit and central line and central line and lower control limit will be same. Right. Similarly, we are going to calculate the value of D4 and D3. So the sample size was 3. Right. Because we have calculated 3 products. We have taken 3 products for consideration. The A2 value was 1.02. For calculating D3, the value is 0, 0.00 and D4 is 2.57. So when we are putting this value 2.57, 0 multiplied by 3.5 is 0. So the lower control limit for R chart is 0. And when 2.57 multiplied by 3.5, it will give to 9.0125. So we have ascertained the value of upper control limit, central line and lower control limit for X chart and R chart. But these are only the numerical values. How we are going to uh, plot these values in the chart? That is most important. So this is the graphical image of X chart. How we are going to find the upper control limit is 11.3631 that we have drawn here. The center line was 8.0556. We have drawn here, right, in the middle. The lower control limit was 4.4751. We again have drawn this just above the 4 and just below in uh, 5, right? 4.4751. So, how we got these values? These blue dots 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, these are the values of x bar. Right? So, the values of x bar was 7 point something, 9 point something, 9 point something, 7, 7, and 7 point something. So, directly we are putting these values on this chart. 7 point something, 9 point something, 9 point something, 7 point something, 7 point something and then 7 point something, right? So these are the values that we have plotted. And by this plotting of these values, x bar values in the graph, we are going to ascertain that the process is under control because not even a single point is falling beyond the upper control limit or lower control limit. Similarly, we are going to take a replica of it for R chart. So, the value of our control limit in case of R chart was 9.0125. The center line was 3.5. The lower control limit was 0. So, 0 at 0, we have defined the lower control limit 9.0125, just above the 8, 9.0125, lower control limit. The 3.5 in between 4 and 3. 3.5 as the central line. Now, from where we got this point, these blue dots, these blue dot denotes the value of R. So, 136155. So, similarly, what we are going to do, 136155. So, we have plotted these values and again we are going to ascertain what we can draw from these uh, R chart and X chart that all the values lies within the range, within the lower control limit and upper control limit, which denotes that the entire process is under control, the entire state is under control.